Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to today's video. Uh, I'm going to rank the top 10 Marvel characters of all time. So this includes the characters that are Marvel but not in the MTU. Uh, before we start, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe for any more Star Wars, Marvel or film content. Um, I'm doing a stream tonight with uh, both Man Bad and JJ about the top 5 rated actors. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Arcos Captures for doing my thumbnail today. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Uh, link to it will be down below. Uh, but I guess we uh, let's get into it. Um, coming in at number ten, I have got Ultron. And the reason I've got him here, I feel like he's the most underrated villain of all time, like in MCU. When Age of Ultron came out, it didn't really like have a purpose in the MCU but I feel like because of M Endgame it's kind of made Ultron, made Ultron like the one step up from everything else. Uh, Ultron by uh, James Spider I think his name is, sorry if I butchered it. Um, I enjoyed it, he, like Ultron said, uh, he, no he knows the mind but not the heart and that's why Ultron mainly lost. Uh, I felt like he was a very good character. Um, I hope to see him again. Because he's most likely still alive. Because in Spider-Man Homecoming, his helmet, the eyes in it were glowing red. Um, but yeah. If he comes back, I feel like that would benefit the MCU. But until then, we have Ultron at number 10. Coming in at number 9 we have Black Panther. Um, Black Panther's been a bit more special to me recently for one main reason, uh, that is the tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman about a month ago. Um, pretty flawless character, I don't really see a lot of problems with him. Uh, it's just Black Panther's character will now be a bit under concern now due to Chadwick Boseman's tragic passing, which we're kind of forever. Um, but bes but besides from that, uh, I feel like Black Panther's got a strong future. Um, most likely Shuri will take his place, and I can't wait to see what happens next. But that's Black Panther coming in at number nine. Coming in at number eight, I have got uh director Nick Fury. Now, of course. His character is mainly popular due to the fact that Samuel Jackson plays him, which I don't feel like that kind of hinders Nick Fury. I feel like Nick Fury is still a very strong character without Samuel Jackson, but Samuel Jackson just takes it to the next level when it comes to Nick Fury. Um, he's appeared in 9 to 10 films now for Marvel, and that's pretty impressive. Um, obviously... There's still some stuff they could do with Nick Fury, like a Disney Plus series is what I want for him. Kind of explain Nick Fury's background and origin and how he got into S.H.I.E.L.D. Which would be very awesome. Um, what else is good about Nick Fury is probably the character arc throughout the MCU from... I think it was the first Iron Man? If I'm not wrong, like a post credit scene? about the Avengers Initiative. Um, from that until Spider-Man Far From Home, which he was a uh, Krull, so can't really say that was him. But besides from that, um, I feel like Nick Fury has a strong future in Marvel and I can't see, see what, I can't wait to see what he does next. But until then, Nick Fury, number eight. Coming in at number seven, I have put down Captain America. Uh, now, I feel like Captain America's a tad bit overrated, but I can see why people love him, and that's why he's on number seven. If he, I feel like for most people, Captain America would have been in their top five, um, but for being honest, uh, I don't feel like he's that good, uh, but I still appreciate him. Um, but overall, uh, wonderful actor, Chris Evans, um, really good. Uh, Captain America Winter Soldier, as you all know, is my favourite film. So, I mean, not my favourite film, my favourite MCU film. Sorry, let me correct you there. But, yeah. T 
tad bit overrated, but still appreciated. Captain America number seven. Coming in at number six, I have put down. Yep, that's right. Uh, Doctor Doom. Now he's the most underrated character in Marvel altogether. If I'm being honest, I absolutely love him. Uh, Fantastic Four film kind of ruined him for me personally a little bit. Before that, if I took out that film from the equation, he probably would have been number four, three, maybe. Depends. But because of the Fantastic Four film, he's number six. Uh, I definitely enjoy him. Um, in the comics, he's absolutely beastful. And his appearance is deadly. So, yeah. I mean, I can't say much else with Doctor Doom. It's just... If you want a dangerous character for Phase 4, it's either Galactus or Doctor Doom. But I would prefer Doctor Doom over Galactus, if I'm being honest. Besides from that, Doctor Doom, obviously, biggest flaw is the Fantastic Four film. But besides from that, I see Doctor Doom as the most underrated character in Marvel history. Number 6, you have Doctor Doom. Coming in at number 5... Uh, probably one of the more iconic characters. I have the Wolverine. Uh, Hugh Jackman uh, did a brilliant job with Wolverine. Uh, not a lot of flaws, if I'm being honest. Um, strong character, strong story arc. Logan was definitely a different type of superhero film. I enjoyed that. It gave me different feelings of a superhero film I didn't have before. Um... Wolverine in the comics, the outfit that he has, uh, brilliant, uh, he fights Hulk, and that's just a strong character in the uh, long run anyways. Uh, I feel like Hugh Jackman gave Wolverine a different depth of character building, uh, but besides from that, uh, if Wolverine was ever recasted, I don't think he should. I know Keanu Reeves was interested in the role of Wolverine, but... You know, things change. But, number five, Wolverine. Coming in at number four, I don't feel like a lot of people appreciate this character as much as they should. I've got Thor. Now, I'm not doing it because it's a joke. I actually think Thor is one of the best characters in the MCU and in Marvel in general. Um, Infinity War gave a different light to Thor, it made him the antagonist instead of the protagonist, but we knew he was a good guy, but uh, Joe and Anthony Russo made him out to be the bad guy, which I really enjoyed, and that was one of the things that I think separated Thor from the rest of the Marvel crew, was that um, he has just brought something different to the Marvel uh, scene, and I feel like if anyone should have beaten Thanos in Infinity War, it would have been Thor, like he did. Um, but overall, Thor's character arc is amazing. Like, he goes from someone who loses everything, learns humility, gets his hammer back, helps the humans fight off the Shatari. Thor Ragnarok, funniest film in Marvel history. Probably will be of all time. Um, what else? Uh, had a massive redemption arc in Infinity War. Unfortunately, he couldn't kill Thanos. In Endgame, we saw the effects of Thanos on Thor. He became Fat Thor. Uh, told Noob Master to, I don't know, get off Fortnite. Uh, figured out Captain America could lift me all near. Which he kind of knew since uh, the Age of Ultron area. But... Besides from that, one problem I have is the f fact that Thor is getting a fourth film. I don't feel like he should, but I can see why. But, you know, can't change much about that, can I? Coming in at number th four, Thor. In the podium places now, coming in at number three is my favourite MCU villain of all time, Thanos. Now, Thanos, played by Josh Brolin, it's just perfect. I don't think I've seen a better character than Thanos. Uh, Infinity War gave him a very good arc. Um, if I'm being honest, it's given Thanos another layer of depth. It's kind of like a crime film where you see what the bad guy's doing and see why it is. So it's like action and crime and the same thing. 
His intentions were good, uh, Thanos's, but the way he wanted to do it was very bad. Which I think is probably why Thanos is one of the more unique ones, because he, he's definitely a futurist, and similar to Tony, if you know what I mean. They both futurists, they both want to protect the Earth, and Thanos is like 20 years ahead of Tony. So if Tony tries to save the planet whilst having a daughter, Morgan, uh, it won't turn out well. She'll probably be caught in the line of fire, which is something that he doesn't want. But at the end of the day, Thanos is definitely the best MCU villain that we've ever seen. One of the best villains in comic history. Behind Joker and Darth Vader and all that, if you know what I mean. But Thanos coming in at number three. Now on to the uh, penultimate position. Coming in at the uh, second place spot. I've got Spider-Man. Now, Spider-Man, I don't think... For me, I didn't just count his MCU story. I counted the Andrew Garfield and the Tobey Maguire story. All three Spider-Mans. Maybe a bit unfair, but I'm going to do it because I can. Um, Spider-Man has a very good story arc. Um, Spider-Man 2 from Tobey Maguire is probably my favourite Spider-Man film. Um, if I'm being honest, uh, Doc Ock is probably my favourite Spider-Man villain. Uh, he, that's why I love Spider-Man 2 that much, Doctor uh, Doc Ock. Uh, he will be coming up later. Um, Andrew Garfield one, a bit forgettable. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 kind of crammed in too many villains and it didn't work unlike The Dark Knight. Which I will discuss soon. Stay tuned. Uh, the Tom Holland Spider-Man has done a very different way to the other two. It's called the Iron Spider route. Which I remember from an old Spider-Man game in 2007-8. They had that skin. Because you had to defeat Rhino I think. To get it. Um, Iron Spider. Very good story out there. Uh, Far From Home. Very good story out for Spider-Man. Figuring out that he can't drop the responsibility of Spider-Man, which is something he should have learned off Tony. He tried to, failed. Mysterio revealed his identity, which hid to Spider-Man now. And, yeah, I can't wait for the uh, new Spider-Man film coming out in 2021, November time. Um, I hope that we see something interesting, otherwise it's going to kind of ruin Spider-Man, because... When you think of iconic characters, like iconic superheroes, you think Batman, Superman, Spider-Man. Without watching any of your superhero films, they're the three that you'll know straight away. So, Spider-Man's definitely the most iconic MCU character, or Marvel character, if I say so myself. But his story arc, from a film standpoint, isn't the best. I'm going to tell you whose is, after a few honorable mentions. So, I have three honourable honorable mentions. Need to stumble on my words there. Uh, the first one, Doc Ock. Uh, the second one, a bit of an interesting one, Black Widow. And the final one, drumroll, Blade. <laughs> um, all those couldn't make the list, I'm sorry. Uh, I wish they did. Them three characters are amazing. Uh, Blade... It's probably, it'll probably go Doc Ock, Black Widow, Blade, if I'm being honest. So, 11, 12, 13. But, um, they're the three honourable mentions that I have. And now, moving on to the number one spot. Coming in at number one, I have Iron Man. Now, Tony Stark is a brilliant character. Robert Downey Jr. was made for that role. This brought Robert Downey Jr. back from his drug and crime days which just ruined him at that point Iron Man's probably saved Tony Stark's life and then Tony Stark gave his life to save Iron Man's life if you get what I mean not really but uh, Iron Man's story arc through this whole saga is brilliant uh, kind of a bit like music he has nine like in music you have nine symphonies and after the night before you die that happened with Iron Man. Nine films, the tenth one, he died. 
uh, he went from being a selfless merchant of death that sought weapons to saving his life to save the planet from the Chitari to realizing that they need to be a suit of armor around the world that's what they needed and then he went from probably being worthy for Mjolnir when he sacrificed himself for the greater good after Thanos came from 2014 to try and kill them all just Spider-Man is an absolute brilliant character I wouldn't be surprised if he's in everyone else's top 5 to top 10 list um, but Iron Man number 1 for me it's just something special it's the first MCU film I watched loved it, Obadiah's brilliant, Iron Man's brilliant you can't say much uh, probably out of everyone I would love to have a Iron Man suit which would be really cool but till that day always keep wishing an Iron Man you coming at number one thank you all so much for watching this video um, join me later tonight for a stream with uh, Baldman Bad and uh, JJ Siflord uh, but till that time everyone take care and until next time Peace.